Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our uh, Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man campaign with Operation Summoned Palace. It is time for the Blood Angels to descend from heaven and uh, punish the 13 to 15 enemies. We got Synapse, we got Renvin, we got Aaron. Uh, we got Aziz Darkrai and Implacable. That's a good combination. I like the classes, very vanilla, uh, backline, cover removal, support, frontline damage. I can very much live with that. We just don't want to be flanked. And the good part is we're getting 30 intel and a dark event is countered. Data vault near your position. Be advised. Self okay. Good high ground here, I like that. And a huge uh, building over there. That's not bad. Moving to designated position. As as he saw a cry begins to scout. What was that? Captain plus two. And this is a see through door. Seems we have really poked a hornet nest. Getting it done. Implacable as a sniper. Out. Hmm. Got it covered. Lots of enemies. Let's be a bit careful, shall we? Well, so much for being careful. And they, of course, begin to run into us. Right, I think we just triggered everyone. Three pots and two turrets. Okay, sure. Yeah, well, um, okay. Let's start getting the mech down. You know what they say, mech down, smack down. doesn't make that much of a difference now. I want the turret because we need a punching ball and as long as the turret is there they will attack it because it's easy and can't take cover. Minimum damage for surveillance drones. You know what? Overwatch. We do not yet have death from above. Well, oh, that's bad. I think we're flankable here from the turrets. Whatever you say. Press yet? 
Good. Drones slowly but surely go down. Let me think about the correct positioning. Mm, this is not flankable. Position ourselves here and then use a grenade or whatnot, or a flamethrower, maybe even hit two people. Barely at the edge of being in range. Not going to take any chances here. Good, that'll, that'll be a kill. And a lot of burning environment. Burning environment, not good for them to push up. They instead will go for the turret and try to remove Overwatch. Like little lemmings. Okay, turret does exactly what uh, they are supposed to. That is a problem. Luckily... Uh, there's a break, break hacking. Yeah. Okay, that's a flanking shot. That is not a flanking shot. Two, five, that's a good chance to kill. See that one? Good, one down. Not bad. Not great either. But at least no more flanking. And we can already start hitting this guy. On us. 
Lucky. Can we rehack? No. But we can revive Renvin, which is direly needed. Moves up, kills the turret. Thank you. Fantastic, both of them burning. That means we have just disabled them. Good, we gotta deal with the reinforcements next. Okay. Let's get ready to rumble, shall we? Seems doable. We need to push a bit forward. Make sure that we're okay doing so. Seems doable. Reload Overwatch and Ready to engage. Scanning. This guy is burning, so let's gently up. ignore him. Got it covered. And everybody else overwatches. We can manage to get most of the reinforcements down. I can push forward next turn. Racing shot. Wow, minimum damage. Generally decent hits, but boy, they are they are tough and very well armored. Three turns we really need to push forward. Wow. Heading out. Whatever you say. Let's get this guy down. Well, how about that? Nice damage. Which means if we're moving here, we should be good. Reinforcements definitely took longer than expected to get down. We need to push forward. 
it's basically now or never. to here can we see the target from here can we see the target not sure Thirteen to fifteen. To be fair, so I can. Enemy is still up. Well, that means a lot of packs. Venice one five. You're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. I'm going. We've got the objective in sight. Venice one five. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Good. We'll do exactly that. Advanced PCS. That could be good. Let's be greedy. We got a lot of alien alloys, so. That advanced PCS could have been really good. Forward to tank. Sniper for whatever reason does have no line of sight. Let's get the mutant. Locked on to him. It's flankable from the other side, unfortunately. That, however, is not, and we'll get a good high ground bonus out of it. Come on. Alright, almost got it down. For the reinforcements, oh, and they are tough. is catching up on us unfortunately Seems doable. 
Let's kill these guys. Problem that I'm seeing is we can't do anything against the Advent uh, leader there. Way too many hit points. And we currently are out of position. So let's try to kill as many Advent as we can. That's two gone. Okay, and we're very much flanked. This here will flank uh, the captain. So he will need to change position. Can't go there. Can't go here. He, he will go somewhere else. So this year, this year is a safe position for cover. And we're moving exactly to the opposite side. I just want to make sure that we're that we're having a good high ground position here. The hunter down is not the worst that could happen. Looks like they called in some friends. <laughs> That's actually okay, all things considered. Okay, we need to we need to use our position wisely here. That sector needs to die. Okay, and there's only one left over, that's good. Unfortunately, snipers are almost out of ammo. here for now that advent uh, cannot see anyone so he will need to move super safe here with hunker down for one turn but reinforcements are going to arrive I'm just wondering about our ability to escape let's position ourselves over here that gives us more movement if needed. Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Sector its mind spin is down, so that won't happen. Oh no, a priest. Ah, that's bad news. Go on, you guys can kill one, if not two, of them. And not if you are hitting a heavily armored target. I skirted him. Oh, that's not good. Question is, can we haywire this guy down? 
That's a good question, I don't know. Okay, well, we're in the open here. Might as well get out of uh, the sight of the enemies. And can we stun it? That would effectively kill it for one round. Could have even taken it over. But that is good enough, so doesn't exist in our calculation for now. Good, next up, Sniper, free reload. Yeah, only has one target. Removes it from the battlefield, good. with the damage but we at least got it uh, down listen and now it is really a matter of keeping the rest here busy Try will overwatch to kill the priest. And I will just although chain shot is a fun thing to do, I will just suppress Damn it, reinforcements come before the priest moves. That is slightly unfair, as the priest now gets their turn. Let's hope they are mind controlling and not using stasis. So we killed one. Reanimate. Good, well, I can accept that. That on the other hand, ouch. This is Firebrand, it's time to go. Okay. Location confirmed. Whatever you say. I'm trusting you here. Got it covered. Got it covered. Hmm. We might not be able to deploy them right onto another mission. That was much closer than expected. I don't know if that was excellent. That was way closer than expected and we're likely going to have a couple of mild wounds.
Good, so what's the matter, Doc? One by one, we're evening up the score, Commander. Good work out there. Death from above would have been very helpful. Ranvan. Executioner, great. Uh, this here gets more damage on critical hits, which is also not bad. I like Implacable quite a lot because it uh, makes us more mobile. So I wonder if we want to go with that. We already got Executioner for crit and locked on for crit. Do we have any crit down here? Evasion, dodge, defense. No, but he has a lot of uh, a lot of defensive skills. Every two enemies that you can see. I mean, it's if he crits, it is a lot of crit damage. I think we're going with Implacable and Rapid Fire into Rupture. Okay, here we're most certainly going to take Field Medic. Four Psy uh, Offens, that's good. That's something that our Psy operatives could use. And Renvin is um, his tech sergeant. I love that. We got Venom theoretically available. We got Venom theoretically available and unfortunately, well, let's first of all see what we can do because I want them back in action as soon as possible. No rest for the wickets. Most specifically because we get rookies from here. I'm willing to spend intel if needed. We're having a good amount of intel at this point. So Blood Angels came from the sky and are currently very much injured. So who else can we bring? Technician, yep. Sharpshooter, yep. That would allow us to get it down to 10 to 12. Maybe I can even go get it up to 150. Let me work on it a bit. Good. We played around uh, with the options a bit more and we're at exactly at 150%, uh, percent, which will now get us to 7 to 9, which is good enough for four people. I don't need anyone else. It's a great mission. And you four are ready to make the Blood Angels proud. Go and do your thing. All right, starting infiltration. Now, we wanted to get over there. And eight days for Advent Resource Cash. Um, yeah, well, the Space Wolves might be able to take that on if we do a good extraction of the VIPs. That's some extra material right there. But other than that, I think we don't have a lot of manpower.
power left. Everybody's infiltrating. Trial by fire. Yeah, we got venom, and that's about it. Speaking of which, you could be an awesome haven advisor for now, Venom. Cool, so, look, we wanted um, contacts here, contact center. At the moment, I am torn because the proving ground also gives a lot of decent items but it will delay the infirmary further. Let's go with Proving Ground. It's cheap. We can put the infirmary down here. Fifty days uh, seems like a plan. Why exactly did we? Thank you. I was about to say why exactly did we shift? But on the other hand. Mm, might want to do that actually. Go ahead and excavate that fast and then also get the infirmary relatively speaking fast. We do have enough power, we can upgrade that, put another engineer in and then have plenty of power. And down here infirmary and then we're going for the communication uh, central so that we have more contacts. We're not even maxing out our contacts. We have a lot of intel, but I didn't have the money yet to buy any uh, network towers, which we will need to buy, uh, build soon. Strategic resource located. 14 alien alloys is good. Vigilance 18, that is crazy. Strength 6 down here. It's rising. They are pulling um, battalions from uh, from each of the other regions. Setting course for Indonesia. Good. And in the meantime, we can just heal. Another supply raid. That would be good. Edwin is moving forces into New Australia. Intercept the enemy reinforcements, but two days, five hours is a bit too short. New Indonesia recruited. Um, I think we're now at the maximum. Yep, where these guys are just going to be replacements. New mission. Oh, that's a nasty side trip. Return fire. But I don't think that we do have a lot of time. Um, we'll need to wait until you are at 100% because I don't want to uh, do it early. And that would be the liberation chain. Way too little time. Now we're at 100%. That is good. You can, by the way, see that when the Psy operatives are on missions, their training is paused. So I don't want that to be the norm. Uh, but unless we do have extra uh, candidates uh, that we can use for training, I think for the moment we're fine. Uh, next time we're going to do the Space Wolves uh, that are extracting VIPs here. That would include only a scientist. Well, 
shouldn't just say only a scientist. That's actually quite good. What else do we have? Um, blood angels down here. I having the resistance personnel and I think r rookie, rookie, yeah, two, two rookies, three rookies. Yeah, three rookies, that's a fantastic option. Deeper roster, finally. And the Ultramarines are giving us Intel in the package. Okay, cool. That brings us pretty much to the end of today's mission. Let's uh, just double check. Recruiting can't do anything. No, that looks good. Combat armor is uh, ready to go. We'll get supplies for that soon-ish, but more importantly, proving grounds for a couple of things, including Hasves mass, um, uh, Hasves, uh, vests, vests, Hasmes vests uh, that uh, will be helpful for us, and better ablative uh, vests that also will be helpful. Uh, then uh, down here, the um, the infirmary. And then I think we do have a really, really good setup. Trainings ground will, uh, training center will come soon. So then we can finally start with uh, um, doing a lot of training. And in the meantime, the officers here, specifically the Shinobis, will do the officer training. So we do have training here. We do have bond training here. We do have training here, which means we're uh, having all of the training facilities that are available uh, relatively early in the game. And we're only in May at the moment. So things are looking decent for us. I think we've done okay. Resources are very strong. Engineers are a bit on the weaker side. Uh, that's a problem. Scientists, we get a sixth one. So we are, I think, really on par uh, with the scientists. But we do have the workshop. So I somewhat circumvented the problem. So effectively, we do have five engineers. And once we do have resistance comms here and the power relay here, that's a really efficient uh, staffing. And in the meantime, since there is no training, you guys uh, do actual research. Thank you. Just for a bit of optimization. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.